seeing more and more ads for vaginal microbiome tests. We know gut microbiome stool tests have been mm -hmm. on the market for quite some time. How do you feel about these new vaginal microbiome tests? Is this something you use? What do you say to somebody who's come to you and is wanting one or has done one? Yeah, so I do think there's application for them for sure. So I, um, EV is one of the tests that I think is fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, it's obviously has medical advisors that are OBGYNs and I love that, that are good scientists behind it. Um, I think, you know, in, when we go, when you go to your standard doctor, your OBGYN and you say, I have a vaginal infection and they do the little swab, they're only testing for certain bacteria, right? They're only going for Gardnerella or, um, yeast, but they're Candida albicans, but they're not necessarily like looking at the bigger picture of some oddities that might be picked up. And so if your gynecologist is astute, they may also do a vaginal culture at the same time because they're like, well, I'm only checking for these three things. What if it happens to be these? And I'm just going to try to see if I can pick it up at the time. But if you're getting a specific test that's sort of geared towards the vaginal microbiome, then you kind of do, you, you get a, usually a little bit more information about what is exactly, exactly in your microbiome. So I like that test. I'll use it if someone is really kind of dealing with a lot of recurrent UT, vaginal infections or UTIs, and we really don't know what is the bug that keeps propping up, right? <laughs> what is the thing? It's not in the standard kind of treatment pr protocol that you would do. So what do I need to do to focus specifically on that type of bacteria to eradicate it and then recolonize with the good stuff?